What's going on YouTube? So I thought it was a good chance, a good time to give you a little bit of an update, but also tell you a pretty disturbing story that happened to us. Um, I think it's it's finally funny. It almost caused a divorce, um, but it's all good now. But this you'll, you'll like this, especially Ginger. I think Ginger would like this because she's handy and probably will know what I'm talking about. But first with the update, um, we're in the campsite, kind of like I mentioned. Here's our kind of my situation here. Um, we're kind of halfway between Tampa and Orlando. So you know the hurricane just came through here. The weather's beautiful now. But we had to basically cinch up the camper really quick. And um, we stayed at a, at a Disney hotel because we didn't want to get blown away. Uh, makes sense, right? But here's the story. So as I was cinching up the camper, I read somewhere that if you fill up the water tanks, then it weighs it down and it decreases the chance of flipping, right? So let's talk a little bit about, about these water tanks so you understand what happened. Basically, you got three water tanks, right? You got a gray water and a black water, right? Gray water is all your um, shower, sink stuff drains into that, right? So it's semi-clean, you can't drink it, but it's semi-clean. Black water comes straight from the toilet, right? And then there's a white water tank that you basically use you know, with potable water that you can drink and it stays clean and all that good stuff, right? So my plan was to hook to the white water tank because here, I'll show you what. Normally we have it set up. Water runs directly into here, right? You got a filter. There's something that decreases the pressure in here too. Um, and then this, we just get direct water. You turn on the sink and it just goes right in, right? I assumed this was the white water hookup. But we'll come back to that in a second. The actual white water hookup is all the way on the other side over here, right? Makes total sense, right? But no, I thought it was here. And of course, I don't like to read things, so I didn't read this little cautionary thing. So I hooked the water over to here, turned it on. I started running sink water to fill up the gray water tank too. Then, after a little bit of time, the wife says, wow, it kind of smells like sewage in here. What's going on? So, um, I'm like, well, maybe we'll drop a tablet in the toilet just to kind of kill the smell before we leave. I went to go push on the toilet and basically it was a shit bomb. Exploded out of the toilet, all over me, all over the walls. Ceiling, shower curtain, everything that was in there was basically destroyed. So even though we were ready to cinch up the camper, get out of here uh, in record time, that took another two hours to clean up, thanks to my amazing wife, um, who, yeah, like I said, it didn't go very well in the beginning. Um, but then bought her a few drinks later and, and all is well. So anyways, there's my little story. So... Don't do that. Don't, oh, let me explain what this was. So this is basically a black, um, you basically, when you want to clean out the, the poop tank, right? You, you hook to this and you let it run. Um, but of course this has to be open so that it drains straight out. Well, I had it closed because you normally keep it closed. So don't do that. Okay. Very important. So anyhow, um, I'll throw a couple pictures of the house where it's at. The walls are up and stuff. So probably January or February we'll be in, in the house. I'll be back to full complement again, doing more videos and things. Um, I downloaded a few apps, so maybe we can uh, do something on here while I'm in the camper. So either way, everybody, please be safe, healthy, and be nice to each other.